Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm slowly getting better. Look, William Tyrrell, the boy that they're trying to find, they've got a search on for his body, he's been missing for many years. His uh, foster parents will enter a plea. Uh, they've been um, charged with alleged assault. Now, there's lots of stuff we don't know about it because it does involve minors. So it says William Tyrrell's foster parents will enter a plea to assault charges against them in two weeks, the Sydney court has heard. The foster mother, 56, and the foster father, 54, were charged last week in relation to an alleged assault of a child at a home on Sydney's upper north shore. The child is not William Tyrrell. The two cannot be named due to legal reasons, while a non-publication order also restricts reporting the nature of the allegations. So we don't know. There's a non-publication order, so... Everything is confidential. We, we know the bare basics. The foster parents did not appear before the Hornsby local court today where the matters were mentioned for the ter first time before Magistrate Robert Deans. And each of the defendants was indicated they would enter a plea when the case returns on December 7th. The court had a mini brief. The court had a mini brief was served on each party yesterday. The foster parents were excused from attending the court on the next occasion. A lawyer representing media organisations sought to challenge the non-publication order over the nature of the allegations. She told the court her clients would be able to report on the on the cases on a de-identified basis. Uh, but the magistrate deans questioned why there was such a level of public interest. In fact, the only last week I dealt with a far more serious allegation, including a five-year-old child, and no one was here very interested in that, she said. Magistrate Dean said the allegations were not the most serious of nature a court sees by any stretch. What's the public interest other than the, dare I say, the clickbait in relation to this matter particularly? All parties, including the media, were given a timeline by which to make submissions about why the interim non-publication order should be stand or be altered. Those arguments will head back to court on December 3. Now, the judge, judge makes a good point. Every day there are cases relating to parents and children and there's no media interest. But the fact that it's William Tyrrell's foster parents, we then have this great big media circus. So I can see why the judge wants to have a non-publication order in place. I can see why they want to protect, um, the. I know why they want to protect all parties. And also, please understand that everything is alleged. Everything is alleged. So whatever whatever they've been charged with, it's still all alleged. It's up to the court now to decide whether they are guilty or not. And the court deals with matters like this, as I said, every single day, um, and we don't hear about it. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, it's, you know, the timing of it. Is is there something to do with the timing? Of, I don't know. I don't know. I just it's it's uh, definitely a very interesting. The timeline is very very interesting. But um, I'll be interested to hear what you've got to say. Thanks. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.